This video demonstrates a step-by-step -step process whereby a closed suction system can be modified to allow for safe bronchoscopy during tracheostomies in coronavirus patients. First, the suction tubing is removed from the safety sheathing as shown here. A small hole is punctured in the safety plug. The edges are then trimmed to create a circular shape. The blue plastic attachment is removed, inverted, and the sheathing passed through, pulled over and inverted over the edges. The blue plug can then be used to hold this sheathing in place and tape is then used to create an airtight seal. A bronchoscope can then easily be passed in and out of the safety sheathing with an airtight seal around the bronchoscope itself. The opposite end attaches to the closed and open valve system. Here you can see where each of the tubes attach. The valve can be placed in the closed or the open position, as is shown here. In the open position, suction, or in this case the bronchoscope, can be passed into the tracheostomy tube. Here you can see how the system locks in place for suction, and in the closed position the suction tubing is unable to pass through, but in the open position the suction tubing is able to pass. Following tracheostomy, the sheath is attached to the bronchoscope. The same locking mechanism can be attached to the open and closed valve as shown here. In the closed position the bronchoscope will not pass, but when it is turned into the open position, the bronchoscope can be passed through this valve, which would be attached to the tracheostomy tube. The main benefit here is that the tracheostomy tube tip and the distance from the carina can be assessed while maintaining a closed circuit. Thank you for watching.